So Lawrence, we had my medium friend Gina come over. Uh oh. And obviously, I asked about like babies for you guys, and she said it's gonna happen. Spirit makes me feel like it'll happen within the year. Oh my God. <gasps> You're gonna get pregnant very soon. Yeah, she said it's gonna happen. Yay! So we got a little basket for you. Yep. Oh yeah, oh, full of accoutre mounts. It's a little treat. <laughs> Mike and Lawrence want to have a baby. They're so ready. They're married. This gel is behind them. So we basically got them some sexy stuff to make a baby. It's a baby making basket. <laughs> oh. Let's do the toys. Let's do the toys. Okay. I would say the best thing for simulation for couples is going to be a wand. Oh, that sounds pretty cool, actually. Like Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh they, got the, they got the horny goat wing, oh kid. My God. I got, got that Jeez. horny goat wing. We want them to have a baby, so just throw it all at them. We have like boner pills. We got max load for you. Oh, word. All right, I need that. Lubes. We have chains, deep throat spray. What's that? You're welcome, bitches. Deep throat, deep throat spray. Oh, oh that's that's that's, that's deep throat spray. Wait, that's for Polly, <laughs> actually. Sorry, wait. That's <laughs> Polly. Sorry. <laughs> Why did you guys mix this in with his? Mike's a little overwhelmed by this basket. I mean, it's been a while since he's seen dildos. Oh my god. And pink furry handcuffs. Ooh. But they're liking it. I think they're gonna use some of this stuff. What is that? A vibrating ring. I was like, what is this thing? It's a pleasure, both of you. Okay. And how do I operate it? taking care of business cuz. Mike and Lawrence are literally starting a new chapter in their life. Like this is a big year for Mike and Lawrence and I'm so excited to be a part of it. Both take work front and back. You guys can grab a seat at this desk over here and you can help yourself to the cafe, okay? I'll call you back in a few minutes, all right? Thank, Thank you. you. They asked me what my other name is, so I put the situation. I don't think that's necessary here. Me and the wife are still trying to grow the family. Does yours need to be fixed? I would definitely look at mine. Of course. I need to be double and triple checked. Yeah. Yes, we are ready. We've definitely faced tons of obstacles, you know, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get good results. So Lauren, Michael, I, I know that I had gotten the message yeah. mm -hmm. that you guys were trying yeah. to get pregnant. And uh, I think you've had a pregnancy recently, right? Yes. So what happened with that? So we got pregnant September 12th, and then I found Pretty out- Pretty quickly. Yeah. Today I came home. Yeah, yeah. right yeah. when he came home. And then I had a miscarriage October 26th. Okay, that's sad. Yeah. Yes. That's very hard. Very, very awesome that you opened up about it. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah, thank you. I'm just gonna try again. It's the first time you got pregnant, first right? Time mm -hmm. ever, so nothing yeah. before that. It's a bad luck thing. Okay. Whenever you make an embryo, the egg can make a mistake in the division of the chromosomes. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how you get a lot of the miscarriages. Okay. So the most common right. miscarriage problem is due to that. Okay. okay. So we're well, I actually okay. have a question. If she is ovulating this week, should we have sex every day, which is fantastic, mm -hmm. <laughs> or should I do the method of every other day to sort of um, I guess replenish. Give, give replenish the situation. Yeah. And it's actually been shown that every day is better than every really? day. Really? Yeah. Wow. It really is. The problem is a lot of people can't keep it up for that long. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I had the so. plan of before I went to the gym to do it in the morning as soon as I wake up. Is, is, <laughs> that, is that good? Or after the, <laughs> after the gym or before the gym? I, I'm, I think that's, that's okay. Either way is fine. Oh, either way is fine. Either way is fine. Either okay. way is fine. All right, cool. Take just, a shower first. Yes, yeah. of course. Okay, good. Seems like we're on attack mode right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, good. It's a lot better yeah. to have the issue and then address it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I agree. I desperately want to be a father. That's not like a bucket list of, of a man. You know, you want to have a family. You want to be the best father you can be. And I feel be between prison behind me and being four years clean and sober and being my best self, I feel like I'm ready to tackle parenthood. Under doctor's orders, honey. It seems that we're going to be busy with sexy time every single day. Did you? <laughs> oh, honey, I'm home. Babe, I have to been feeling great. What's wrong, honey? Well, I'm feeling weird. And I brought a test just in case. You did? Because, yeah, I was due like the day before we left. OK. Well, maybe you should take the test, honey, and we'll just see, you know? And maybe it's good to just know. This would mean the world to me. I'm okay. gonna go take it. All right, take the test, honey. If this test is positive. Okay. Oh, my God. oh, it's happening. It's happening. Oh my God, it's happening. Like on this trip right now, like really, that would be the best way to end this trip. Honey, you done yet? 
No. Honey, what's it say? Hold on. It takes a few minutes. What's it say, honey? Oh my goodness. What does it say, honey? Do you want to see? Come over here and speak with me. Speak with your husband. It says it is. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. We did it. <laughs> we did it, honey. <laughs> He's so happy. I just want him. I've always wanted us to be like at this point. And it's all happy tears. Like, it's all a good thing. We're just so, we're just so happy to be here and experiencing this together. And we've, like, we've just waited and prayed so long for this that it's finally happening and we both just can't believe it. It came up right away, too. Which means it's really there. <laughs> we've been through a lot. <laughs> we're really lucky. I might need to go in the bathroom for a breather. <laughs> I'm all emotional right now. Love you. I have a really awesome comeback story. I do. And it hasn't been easy for, um, for us, but um, I guess God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. You know, because uh, the last couple years haven't been easy. Um, but I wouldn't change a thing because it has made me into the man that I am. I mean, we might be in the clears. I hope so. Good. We have to just pray. What does it mean to you to be a dad? <sighs> um, <laughs> I think I'll be an amazing dad. Moses is gonna be so you. happy. I love you. I love you. Hi, Michael. Take you, Lauren to be my wife. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I commit my heart and soul to you. I'm officially Big Daddy Sis right now, man. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. We did it. <laughs> For us to be pregnant at the end of this trip, it's the best ending. Ever. I can't go into the presidential suites like this. <laughs> Thank goodness, they're gonna know. They're not gonna know. They're gonna know, honey. They're not gonna know. We it's... have it all li written all over our face. <laughs> For this to be happening here is so crazy and special and memorable, and uh, I just can't believe it's happening. Oh. Do we tell everyone? I don't think so. <laughs> not yet. Okay, fine. This is the biggest blessing of anything that could happen. I'm not known to be able to keep secrets, especially from families. Well, you're gonna have to keep this one. While I wanna scream it from the rooftops, I also wanna be cautious and hold it in because we've gone through so much to get here. I'm officially Big Daddy Sis right now, honey. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm really bad at keeping secrets. Okay, honey, I'll be back. I'm going to the suite. All right. And like, it's such a big secret. I don't know how long I can hold this. It's happening. Well, I would like to start it over here. I would like to thank my wife for coming here and really supporting myself and everyone on this trip to really sort of be our best self and live our best life. Um, and I love you very much. I love you. And there were so many amazing highs. I feel like this trip was such a family bonding trip. I'm definitely feeling really excited to tell everybody about our pregnancy. And I can't wait to see like the looks on their faces. And I have one more little thing I want to share with everybody here. Shut up. <laughs> My mind is blown. I can't believe it. I am so happy for them too. Yeah!
<laughs> they have been dying to have a little situation, and frankly, I've been dying for them to have it too. I knew it! I knew it! Mike and Lauren went through so much this last year, and I'm just so, so happy for them. So the fact that they're pregnant, uh, it is just the best news and the best way to end this trip. Twice, twice. Come on! I knew it! Come on! Daddy Sid, BDS, Big Daddy Sid. We're just so excited and so happy and we've been through so much. And I feel that like, that's just gonna make us such good parents at the end of the day. How did he keep this in the whole time? How did he keep this in the whole time? I am team healthy baby. I am so excited, you know, because right now we are about to find out the gender of our first baby. We have everyone on the Zoom ready to go. Are we here? Who that? Hi, We're all so excited. <laughs> DJ thinks it's a girl. I'm a oh, all right, guys, I'm busy. Let's make this quick. What's up? Oh my God, he's so annoying. Who's team boy and team girl? Boy. 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 Right. BDS is team boy right now, uh, but at the end of the day, what we wish for is a happy, healthy baby boy. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Get the business. <laughs> what we wish for is a happy, healthy baby. Whew. So. You ready? What do we, what, what happened? All right, let's get it. I don't know. The tree's gonna turn either pink or blue. I don't know. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, this is just okay. I know. We're gonna count down. Three. Two, one. Do you love, do you love me? It's a boy! It's a boy! You, it's a boy. I knew it. I knew it. Yes, boy! A situation that's going to have biceps bigger than his father. I love it. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so excited! It's gonna be incredible to see them as parents. And I'm just really excited to meet this baby. I wish we were together. This feels so weird having to celebrate, like, you know, such a- Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh. Hopefully we can get together maybe after the holidays when things calm down. But yeah. we wanted to like have this gender reveal when it happens for us too, because, you know, we're all family, so we can't really hold anything from you guys. And you can't keep a secret anyway, Mike, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's really special for myself and my wife to uh, get this far in our pregnancy. You guys are trying yeah. to get pregnant. Seems like we're on a tax road right now. Yeah. It's definitely been a tough journey. It was six and a half, seven weeks, and I miscarried. We're about to have baby situation, and I'm so happy to be at this very moment in time right now. It says it is. Stop it. <laughs> we're ending 2020 on such a positive note. You're going to make me cry. We did it. <laughs> and 2021 is going to be epic. I love you guys, man. We gotta go. I'll take you guys to do that. Bye. Congratulations. Bye. 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 The wall's here. The wall is here. So the fact that this guy wants to reenact running through a wall in celebration of our gender reveal, like, Am I the only one that thinks this is crazy? This rematch of BDS versus The Wall is for us, myself, our future, the baby. I mean, guys, let's keep it real. That wall in Italy sucker punched me. Ah, ah, stop! It's time for the rematch. Honey. Yeah? I've known the gender of this baby for a minute now. Facts. So why are we doing this? This trip has been a full circle for Big Daddy Sitch, Whatever you okay? Say. I was able to face Ronald Magros in the ring <laughs> one last time. <laughs> um, and now, honey, to complete my comeback, I will face the wall one last time. All right, let's do it. I have, I have, a, bit of a, I have a bit of a surprise. Oh my God, another one? I do like surprises. The final surprise. Um... Jay was pregnant. Okay. What? God, no. Daddy. Okay. <laughs> Mike's Look pregnant. at that. He almost okay. made it. I'll stand back here for the surprise. Okay. Okay, it's happening. We're actually going to do a gender reveal Big Daddy Sitch style. Um, 
I don't get it. You've known this for months. What? This isn't even a surprise. We know the gender, it's a boy. It's a boy. It says right there everywhere. behind you, baby yeah. boy. You're wearing the pin on your hoodie. We know it's a boy, okay, so. I don't even think Mike understands the definition of surprise. This is weird. He has a penis. Settle down. It's a boy. Okay, the surprise is outside. Follow me. Oh, surprises. Uh -oh. for you. Thank you, mama. All right, guys, let's go. Let's roll out, mom, let's roll out. Let's go. My wife had her gender reveal, and it was all class. <laughs> now it's Big Daddy Sitch's turn to do a gender reveal, nothing but sass. What? What the hell? We know the gender. We already know the baby's a boy. I have no idea what's happening right now. I have some confetti cannons here so that when the gender is revealed, we can fire them off. It's a boy. Listen, this is a special moment. I'm confused. What, what is happening? You have I'm a boy on your hoodie. Oh, it's happening. Wait, what? What is that? What are you doing, Mike? What is that? What is that, a door frame? Once I go through the wall, my comeback will be complete. Angelina, stop touching that. Why? You're going to hit somebody in the face with it, I swear. All right, guys, let's go. I'm really hoping that this goes well, because I'm not giving birth while my husband's in a neck brace. All right, you guys all know that about 10 years ago, OK, I took a big L. You did take an L. I took an L, OK, and now it's time to turn that L into a lesson. All right, got to have the rematch with the wall today. <laughs> You guys ready? Let's do it. If you're going to do it, let's go. I have pleaded with my husband to not do this. And it's like, talk to a wall. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just twist it. That's it? Yeah. Just twist it. We're all going to be like, wait. Which way is everybody blowing these? Just go do it. <laughs> Just go do it. Too cold. Listen. First off, it's freezing. Second, you might break a bone. Um, oh, the best for my son. Pretty sure Italy's wall was a lot thicker than that. Everybody, please, just up in the air. Do we have a neck brace on hand? Wait, count them down, count them down. I mean, I would never voluntarily run into a wall, not once, definitely not twice. But this is Mike we're talking about, and Mike has never been that sharp of a guy, hence why he runs into walls. No, it's not. You wanna hit me, tough guy? Four. You wanna f***ing do it? Three. You wanna throw it? Two. You wanna throw it? I'm going through this for myself, my family, and my future. <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> The comeback is complete. You didn't take a lighting. <laughs> That's a <no> boy! Yeah. <laughs> Yo, someone's hit me in the head. It's a boy! <laughs> we already knew that like eight months ago, but it's a boy. <laughs> oh my god! I put my hands up victorious. You did it! I did it! I can't do it. Ah! I won. Victory is all mine. Damn, yeah, bro, you having a boy or a girl? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's happening. The streets know we're coming. It is happening. Baby situation is on his way, whether we are ready or not. Bye, Mozzie. Bye, Mozzie. We're going to be back with Romeo. I'm just trying to breathe deeply and have positive thoughts and healthy thoughts and just go meet my baby. Like, I've been waiting for this moment forever. I did the test run already, and I know exactly what I'm This is not going. a test run. This is not a test. We can't turn back now, honey. No, I'm already late. You know, I've always wanted to be a dad, always wanted to have my own family. I felt like that was the ultimate prize. And it's and it's happening right now. All right, honey, we've arrived. We made it. I think Mike is gonna be such a good dad. Like I just can't wait to see him in action. He's such a loving, caring, supportive 
like amazing man and I can't wait for him to like lead our family by example and just be a perfect dad. Up, honey, are you okay? Yeah. I am proud to introduce to you baby situation, Romeo Rain Sorrentino. Yes. Yes. We did it, honey. Look at this guy. Romeo. He's sleeping. I've had such an unbelievable life, you know? Um, Everything from the downs. Are you gonna say anything, Mike? He got eight months. Mike yes. got eight months. It's really not the same. Just take me to jail. My beautiful wedding. <laughs> to conquering sobriety. <laughs> and now becoming a daddy. <laughs> It's all been worth it, you know, because I fought hard as hell for, for my happy ending, you know? Oh, honey, can I do the Simba thing? Yeah. Hi, mamas! I know you're not home, but I brought you guys some sandwiches. And I'm taking one because I'm starving. But I love you guys, and I'm here for you. Mwah. Here. We're gonna put welcome home baby sitch. Don't, you're gonna scratch my truck. Oh my God. No, we gotta do welcome. Baby Romeo is coming home. I am on a secret mission to put up this enormous welcome home baby sitch sign. Yes. You crushed it. All right. We did it. Let's get out of here before they get in, okay? Go. Let's peace out. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. What's going on? Oh, God. All right. Um, you know what? Um, we're not going to be coming home today. Oh. Out of nowhere, the, the baby spiked a little bit of a fever. Things are not going as planned with the baby. Romeo is not coming home today. How is Lauren feeling? Um, it's been a lot on her, so he's in one of the best NICUs in the state. Whatever you need, you just call me, let me know, and... Uh... Yeah, we're going to let the professionals and the doctors do what they yeah. do. And yeah. I will text everybody in a little bit. Hopefully, we bring him home soon. But right now, uh, I'm really just taking things one day at a time. All right, love you. All right, love All you, right. man. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Words can't even describe the gravity of the situation with baby Romeo. But in the past five to 10 years, you know, those tough times prepared me to be strong for these days. Let me see the pause. Come on. Let me see the other one. Our family motto is the comeback is always greater than the setback. I have to remain positive for my wife, my family, and we'll get through this. Moser, come here. Come here, Moser. Come speak with your daddy. God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers, and I'm a fighter, and I'm going to fight for my happy ending. He's in the hospital. Oh, damn. I guess there's some complications with little Romeo. No. What happened? He has a fever. And it's really scary when babies have fevers. Because they get really sick. Aww. Poor little guy. Our father, or in heaven. It's pretty St. Michael. St. Michael, please watch over baby Romeo. Amen. Dear God, we pray that little Romeo gets home safe to his new family and Mike and Lawrence um, and get through healthy. this. Mm -hmm. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Honey. Hi. I'm just getting all of our stuff and I will be back soon. And then probably when I get back, I'll order us dinner as well. What's happening with- uh, well, Wait, wait, What's... I have good news. The doctor said that we can take him home today. Hello? Yeah. Um, okay? Yeah, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, that, listen, I'll believe it when we're walking out, but yeah. they, they said that, you know, everything is good, he's been good for however many days in a row now, he finished his course of antibiotics, and he's ready to go. Wow, um, uh, that's amazing. Um, we're gonna bring our little guy home. Yeah. 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 Oh my God, I will be there probably in about 20 minutes. Okay, I love you. I love you so much, bye. bye. We did it! Babe, I just got a text that Romeo's coming home. Oh, finally, good. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited for them. Oh, that's good news. Okay, They're waiting for that moment to take that baby home. I know. <gasps> Gigi, baby Romeo's coming home. That's baby Romeo. He's going home. He'll meet him soon. We got this man. <laughs> I will put him going in this way. Oh my goodness. Other way, back. Oh, it's the other way? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. You had a long few weeks. Oh, it's been tough. It's been tough, honey. Ooh. It's been a doozy of a two weeks, honey, but we did it. This definitely changed us forever. It was a big day for us, honey. It was a real big day. When I needed to just cry, Mike just took over and handled everything. I'm falling deep into the feeling. Honey, look at the welcome home, baby Sydney. Oh my goodness. I love it when it gets late and the fire starts to escalate. There's not one other man in this world that is capable of doing that for our family. Look at that, honey. <laughs> oh my god. We did it, honey. All right. What is happening? All right, Mr. Romeo, you're gonna have a little talk with your daddy right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got it. I'm definitely shocked uh, how good I'm getting at uh, being a dad. It's called a daddy son talk right now. I'm really cherishing the role. All right, first rule in the game is always do your taxes. Uh, Uncle Sam will come get you three years later. It's a good idea to order a few appetizers so you get a feel for what's on the menu. There is a difference between wangers and tendies, okay? Never leave a tendie behind. Italians love carbs. It's sort of like the gasoline to our car. I might have to open up like a pizza place called Romeo's or something. Romeo is Italian. Cucina. <laughs> We have about 35 seconds left of a long time. Did you ever think that we would escape the, the past two weeks that was so hard? Oh, no. You don't want to talk about it? No, it was just the hardest two weeks of my life ever, ever. And we've been through some Yeah. <laughs> this is the first moment that uh, me and my wife have reflected on the tough two weeks that it was uh, for our family. You know, the coast is clear right now, but it, it wasn't. It was, um, you know, we were in crisis mode. I'm just happy he's home now. Yeah? I wouldn't have been able to get through the last two weeks without you. Mm -hmm. There was no way. Like, I couldn't survive that. Yeah? <laughs> okay. The simplest of things will spark waterworks emotion for me because I'm still in shock of everything that happened from my delivery till now. I went through that with like the best partner ever. Look where we're at now. We're eating pizza, grandma's burping little Romeo. He's home, he's happy, everything is good. Our little family is all starting now. We made it. I, I couldn't picture a world without Romeo. Family is living your best life. Family is being your best self. That is the real reward. Thank you for taking care of us. Mm -hmm. Happening. Hi. Mom, oh my God, you look so amazing. Oh. Your boobs. I can't. Unless 
I love them. I love them. Look at her tits. Do you want wine or anything? Um, I'll have a wine. Oh, Yay! Wine? Uh, yeah, whatever you have. I feel like a little bit of wine for mom's diet, it's a must because, you know, it keeps you, like, just chill. You sit there like a lump on a log and you don't do <laughs> <laughs> Anna had that box wine today, boy. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the mama club. Oh, thank you. How's it going being a dad over there, man? Romeo's sleeping, but I just sent you guys uh, a photo of your nephew. <laughs> Look at that little peanut. Yeah, he's got the coolest uncles on the planet. I think he's going to like me better than he likes Vinny. No, he's going to think you're a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yo, Mike. How's Lawrence feeling? Oh, uh, it was really rough, man, for for at least two weeks, man. Romeo was in the NICU. Uh, we didn't really know what the problem was. So we're like, why can't we bring him home? All ready to go, bags are packed. And they're like, oh, he got a fever and he has to go to the NICU. So it was just uh, really a lot. Mm. I don't think I'll ever not be emotional telling this story because it's the heaviest thing I've ever gone through. And that says a lot. <laughs> They do like a spinal tap. They do like everything. Oh my God. And everything came back negative. So they decided they're gonna treat him with antibiotics and to get antibiotics intravenously in a newborn, you have to go through like many locations. Oh my God. And then I'm like emotional and postpartum. Of course. And, um, postpartum is crazy. And I'm like, is he ever coming home? Oh. And NICU is not any place you wanna be as a new parent, as a parent ever. Cheers to so Romeo. We're happy. Yes, a thousand cheers times. To cheers to Romeo. Cheers to Romeo. Everything you guys have been through. Wasn't Angelina supposed to show? And now I'm officially <laughs> part of the Mama's Club. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> the Mama Bears! And at least your vagina didn't like rip your asshole. It's a plus yeah, to everything. You know, so. She yeah, heard me rip. Ah!